Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. So before I get into this video, I just want to introduce you to my babies. These are the little twins that I've been talking about so much. This is Brayden, aka Chunk Chunk, because he's so chunky. Look at them cheeks. Say hi, Brayden. He's still working on trying to hold up his head. Say hi. Hi. And this is Lania, Miss Diva. Hi, Mama. We call her Tutu because she always farting. <laughs> she always farting. She just might get y'all on this video. So I just wanted to know really quick if y'all would be interested in maybe a vlog channel. Um, even before I had the babies, everybody was asking if me and my husband would do like some vlog channels. I guess because y'all wanted to see who this mysterious guy was. I always pop him in and do like a hair tutorial and stuff like that. And also about, you know, representing black love and black couples. And y'all have really been asking after I had the babies. So I am thinking, really, really considering doing it. Um, let me know if you guys would be interested in something like that. If so, please leave those comments down in the description box. All right? All right, babe. Hi, Mama. Mm -hmm. So back to the video, we're going to be talking about the do's and the don'ts of my next lock set. For those of you who do not know, I did a big chop, chopped off the locks. If you missed that video, then head on over to my description box and I have that video for you guys. So y'all won't be asking why I cut off the locks or you won't be asking why did you cut off your beautiful locks just to put fake hair in your hair. Refer back to the Big Chop video that has all the answers. And if that doesn't answer those questions, then go to the next video, which is my tutorial, and that will further explain, okay? So, talking about the do's and the don'ts of my next lock set, I totally forgot to announce that I am going to be starting a new lock set. And some of y'all was in your feelings. I'm talking about DM long messages in your feelings. Uh, contacting me through email long messages in your feelings like I understand that everybody's not gonna like change but the change was for me on a more spiritual personal level I just shared it with you guys so I appreciate those of you who are keeping it positive and keep the encouragement going I like positivity I like good vibes all that negativity you can that's for the birds okay so do's and don'ts of my next lock set there's so much that i've learned during my four and a half years of being locked there are so many mistakes that i've made that i know not to do now there's so much research that i've done as well um and just from experience of doing my hair my husband's hair as well as my client's hair and just i'm going to put all of that knowledge that i've learned and all that experience and know how about my personal journey and put that into this next lock set. So this next lock set will be the bomb. If y'all thought I had beautiful locks back then, wait until this next lock set. I'm so excited. I am. But in the meantime, I'm enjoying, enjoying my little, um, what you call these? Goddess locks. I'm enjoying my different styles. All right, so first do is I will be using natural products from the very beginning. I did not use natural products from the very beginning of my last lock set. I started with comb coils. I tracked that um, here on YouTube. And back then, I don't know if it's, I didn't know about natural products such as the Talia Wajid's Lock It Up or Tight Hold. I would have used that because I needed the slippage of... Um, a certain product plus the hold of another product so I kind of mixed my own whatever they had on the shelf products and it was like eco style gel plus the mixture of some other lock products and it made the consistency but it was not natural and y'all know I'm all 14 natural so um I am definitely going to be starting from the very beginning using all natural products okay uh, it's just very important it doesn't make any sense to invest all this time and money into taking care of your hair and going to the salon if you don't you know do it yourself and getting your hair done just to screw it all up by using chemicals that's going to mess up your hair you know what i'm saying so all natural products what else i'm looking at a list so that's why i'm looking down dye i will not dye my hair 
I dyed my hair also in the very beginning. I wanted my hair to pop. I did, I think I did, um, what color was it? Magenta. And it was very pretty, but it be like no more than like probably a month. I went right back to black and I haven't dyed it since. Um, besides for using natural products, dyeing it too back to black or blacker. It's just no chemicals. I, I'm not all the time team natural, but when it comes to my hair, I try to be as natural as possible. I don't want to damage my hair in any way, shape, or form, so I'm not going to dye my hair. Do, I will be wrapping my hair every night. That's another very important lesson that I learned. I did not wrap my hair up nightly for probably like the first six or seven months, and it did show in my lock journey. I have crazy videos. I was showing the honest truth where my head just looked like a hot mess and it had nothing to do with the locking process. It just looked 20 times worse because I laid on it, it was all dry and it was brittle and it was just everywhere. And I think it would have looked a lot more manageable if I had wrapped it up at nighttime. I wouldn't have had to deal with any other issues that I dealt with, you know, like the friction. I already had hella small locks. Back then, I think I had 150 or 60 locks, you know, and I combined over time. So just having that amount of small locks and rolling on them and it was causing all kind of problems, thinning and everything. So I will be wrapping it up every night. Don't. I will not. And I have to promise to myself that I will not retwist every two weeks like I did for the first year. I want to say year to year and a half, I could not just, it was so hard for me to get used to that, to embrace the fuzzy that locks come with. Granted, it didn't help that I wasn't wrapping my hair at nighttime, but I had to, I just had to retwist my hair and I was retwisting it every two weeks and although it was looking nice, slowly but surely it just got thinner and thinner and thinner and I had to eventually do a free, a semi-free form um, for probably six months after that, after that first year, because I retwisted too much. I was over twisting, and it was causing thinning. It was causing breakage. It was causing uh, to me to have to combine them and do two headed, and I had a whole bunch of two headed, two headed dragons. It was just no fun, no bueno. So no, I'm not gonna retwist every two to three weeks, probably more or less every three to six weeks. I'm going to give myself at least three in the beginning where I just need to um, to get that progress started. You know what? I'm not even going to do three weeks. I'm going to do probably... I mean, I'm trying to think about it because I'm trying to be realistic with y'all. For the first six months, I'm going to try to retwist just once a month. I know I'm going to have to deal with a lot, but if I'm able to do that, my locks will shape and form like I wanted them to, like I want them to. I want them to have a nice kind of thick look at the bottom and then slightly go skinnier. And that's, you have to let it swell. It has to be able to expand. Um, moisture, I will utilize the lock method, which is a liquid oil cream. I applied that to my journey kind of early in the lock stage when I figured out what it was and I've been doing that ever since. The lock method on locks does really great for your hair. It takes those three things, which is a liquid oil and cream or liquid oil in a uh, kind of like a, a thick kind of, not thick product, y'all are going to kill me saying thick product, kind of a, an emollient product. Um, to help lock in that moisture. It's not, it's not just one moisturizing spray or one um, oil or one emollient product that's going to help moisturize your locks. It takes a combination of those things. So I will be utilizing that method. Protective styles. This is a protective style. I always did yarn braids over my locks. I did regular plaits over my locks and um, if I would have known about the goddess locks I probably would have did some goddess locks over my locks but my mistake in doing that is doing it when my locks were in its budding process in its budding stage it did not mess my hair up 
Um, I might even do it again once my hair matures. However, doing it when my hair was maturing, it restricted my hair from expanding and creating the shape that I wanted. I know I could have gotten the shape that I wanted had I just you know, waited to do any kind of protective style. So my advice for those of you who are asking, um, should I, or is it okay for me to do protective styles? I'm a month in or I'm three months in. I would highly advise that you guys wait until you, until your hair buds because it needs to expand. It needs to go through the locking process so that it can, it can start locking. If not, then it's going to take forever for your hair to lock is going to slow it down and also is going to be very very skinny and, and kind of restricted because you're putting something over it and stopping it from doing what it needs to do so i won't be doing that dues shampoo and conditioner i will always 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 shampoo and condition my hair it is very important to shampoo and condition your hair even in the beginning you have to shampoo and condition your locks it doesn't make any sense to me to wash it and strip it all of all of its all of its pro you know all of the uh, oils that it has in your hair and not follow up with the conditioner just because you're scared that it's going to untwist. It's going to untwist as part of the locking process. You have to still moisturize your hair. If you think about it with a loose natural, they moisturize their hair all the time because it's so dry. When you have locks. All that hair that's supposed to be shedding doesn't shed. So you have a lot of dead hair, which means that you need to moisturize even more so because you're going to be dealing with breakage. You're going to be dealing with it popping off. You're going to be dealing with fuzziness. You have to condition. So shampoo condition I will be doing. And then last but not least is I will not be waiting before I wash my hair. I am going to wash as soon as I am going to retwist it the next time. So let's say on the first of the month, I get my, I uh, retwist my, not a retwist, but I start my locks. By time the first of the next month, I am shampooing and conditioning my hair. I'm not going to wait two or three months before I shampoo and condition my hair just because I don't want it to unravel. I understand the process and I understand that it's going to come loose. And I understand my hair type being really, really, really soft. And it's going to take a while for my hair to look to, to, um, to lock, you know, it's just, it just comes with the territory. That is what I have, um, as far as my do's and don'ts of my new lock set. If I missed anything, I just tried to cover the general because I don't want this video to be 20 minutes long. So that's what I have. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave that in the comments box below. And please do not forget, if y'all are interested in me doing a video family vlog channel, then let me know in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, be you, be beautiful, be blessed.